Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today behind me, I have Forest River's shortest Class A motorhome. This is a real treat. I think you're gonna love it. It's perfect for zipping in and out of places, but still having the size of a Class A motorhome. This is the 2024 Forest River FR3 30DS. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, along with a picture of the floor plan should pop up. I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. But today we're gonna go on about a 15 to 20 minute tour, go inside and out and see what you think. Drop a comment, let me know. If you guys are in the market for an RV, my contact information is down in the description as well. Would love to work with you. But again, it's the 2024 FR330 DS. And this thing comes in at under 32 feet from beginning to end so i love that you can see you have this massive beautiful awning for some good shade hopefully in a great place but i'll tell you right when you walk in it is light bright beautiful and spacious i mean look at how nice those floors look and check out all the walk around space you have for those rainy days because you get a well thought out floor plan so right over here you're going to have what i would call a super slide you know it is long deep high it's also going to be that boxed in frame, which normally I'm not a huge fan of, but for this floor plan, it works because of what is in there, the dinette and the big old recliners. Look how comfy those things look. These are all going to be powered. They're that quick recline. So they lay down pretty much flat, perfect for a big old snoozer. You know, if you have a couple extra guests, you're also going to see you get a little bit of storage right here as well. That pulls out maybe for some of those, you know, remote controls and whatnot, but this is going to be all powered you're also going to get heat you know and a light which is nice you get a little bit of accent lighting which is a bonus but you're also going to get a cup holder cup holder your buckles and then even a little bit more storage right there and then you also get two uni uh i'm sorry two usbs and a universal slee c slee universal slee charger so for a slide height reference i'm six feet tall probably puts that right at about six foot maybe six one but it's perfect to not bunk bunk your head and it's still tall enough too where you get some pretty good storage and you notice hands free babe if you're watching i love you notice how they open up i was watching one of matt's rv reviews for the 23 and they actually opened up from the top down i'm not sure if that was an error you know or if that's something just uh, goofy they decide to do but heck i don't know pretty good size windows you'll notice that they're all going to be tinted and each and every window opens up for a nice cross breeze so i love seeing that you know on a day that's moderately chilly or they like today at 75 pop these puppies open and enjoy some of that fresh air you also get the old nightshades get your dracula on stop the skin from sizzling and it keeps some nosy eyes out so i'm going to get to the cab actually let's do the cab right now yeah yeah we'll do that all right so up here pretty cool you get the drop down bunk so that's really nice just for some extra sleeping space but i'll show it to you towards the end of this tour before we head outside it sits up in a way that you can still drive with it down. Don't necessarily recommend that, but you got the head height to do it. So imagine your head's right there. You get all that extra height, so you don't have to worry about that. Pretty classic uh, setup here for a Class A up front. Enough room, comfortable, nothing behind the passenger seat, so you can kick back and relax while you're driving. But one of the beauty beautiful things about a Class A motorhome is all that good space. Hopefully, if you're driving through some mountains or something like that, you have a really good view or especially when you're driving, you know, you need some of that visibility. V8 chassis here with the Fords, that's that Godzilla engine as they call it. You get a cup holder, electric auto leveling, so click of a button, you're good to go. You know, along with all your basic controls, you know, that come with the Ford. You also get, you know, a good screen there for, you know, your AM, your FM, your nav, you know, all that good stuff, along with a couple different buttons. The here, the meat, the, the meat, the mirror heat, uh, or if you combine it, the meat, <laughs> you get a shade, radio, living room speakers, LED lights there. A little tray that you can flip over, get a little work done, or maybe have some dinner on it, along with some pretty good storage there too. And another cup holder. So I like seeing that. All right, so back to where I was before I got distracted. We're moving along this slide here, and you have a really nice dinette where you can sit down, a ton of space. You know, just from a visual appearance, it just looks comfortable. It looks nice and big as well. Right here on this, that's gonna be your insert uh, for this top portion. So, 
you drop this table down, you sit right on those little knobs right there, those little nubbies, and you get an extra sleeping space. I also like how on the table they have the built-in cup holders, you know, for if you have a drink and you're playing some cards or having dinner. It's just an extra place, you know, to put some stuff. You also get a little storage underneath there as well, which is pretty darn nice. Again, that slide, can't stress enough how much space that gets. I mean, when you walk in here, it just feels huge, even though there's one slide uh, in this coach. Pretty sharp looking, too. I love the grays, browns. It's light, it's bright, but it's not too light and bright. just looks really nice and flows well together. Now, coming back up to the front, this is going to be the beginning of your kitchen setup. But before we get into that, I'm going to pop a seat here in this recliner. And directly across, you can kick back chill and watch a movie you know you got your jensen tv right there a perfect view no obstructions blocking it no island you know blocking the way that you would in some of your fifth wheels or some of your travel trailers just a really nice good atmosphere to sit down plus you can put it on an angle so you can watch it there from the table if you want to kick back watch a game or pop a movie on you know you are good to go you get a little flip up table right there for some extra storage you also have kind of the dual zone, I would say, on the top. So first, it's a stainless steel undermounted bowl, single bowl. But on this side, you have a little foldable drying rack. On this side, you got your bamboo cutting board. I love seeing that. But the stainless steel bowl, just it's a classic, man. just looks nice. Gives you plenty of room to do some dishes. You got the fancy high-rise faucet that moves around so you can hit those dishes from all angles. You also got another window that opens up with another Dracula shade to block out the sun. But this is going to be on that driver's side or not driver's side, the campsite, so that way you can, you know, sit around and see what people are doing, still be part of the show. You're also going to see really clean cut storage and access to your plumbing, so I love that. Big storage guy. So right here, more countertop space. You push down and move in, a little hard to do with the, can't, there you go, with the camera there. But Plenty of storage, but also versatility of some extra countertop space so you can get cooking. You know how nice is that? Just they snuck in some extra storage. They're also going to be on that soft close. So you're going to get two of those. You also have the GE appliance here in the form of the oven. So it's a bigger oven than average. So cook yourself up, you know, a couple chickens, a DiGiorno, you know, some cookies. You're good to go. You're having fun. You're loving life on the road. The black ice finish for the top, it's also going to double up, you know, as your splash guard. So I like that too. That is a pretty nice thing to have. But three stovetop burners so you can cook up all the fixings. And then, of course, to match the oven, you got the microwave by GE again. Convenience cooking. Look at that. It's even got a melt mode. I use the microwave to melt. All right. Norcold refrigerator. Thing's absolutely massive. It's beautiful. It's also got... These handles, which are pretty cool right in the middle, just makes life a little bit easier. But check out how big this thing is. It's also going to be a 12 volt, which means it runs off of, you know, solar or when you're driving down the road. It's not gas and electric uh, that you have to worry about any type of like safety issues or shutting it off, you know, when you're driving, having a propane leak or something like that. All right. You're also going to see you get an ice maker. You get a bottom freezer drawer right there as well. Pretty snazzy. That's highfalutin for a camper. The wine guard, call up like AT&T, Verizon, get one of those little chips. You got Wi-Fi on the road. Plenty of storage here. Plenty of storage there. And then that brings us back to the back half of the coach. But first, let me give you a little view here, an overall view of this coach. Just looks super nice. The height in here too is pretty darn nice. So again, I'm six feet tall and you can see plenty of head height so even if you're a little taller than myself, if you're 6'3 or so, I bet you'd fit in here just fine. You got an AC with a dump valve, so you can open it up and disproportionately push all that cool air down into this area when you're, uh, you know, maybe not in the back. You know you're not going to be in the bedroom for a while. Here are the controls for the heat and AC right there. Again, GE. There's some, uh, you know, they're kind of syncing together with the brands, which is always a plus. This is going to be your control panel where you can check your tank fills, water heater, generator arctic pump so that's not the arctic pack i'm sorry uh, but that's so that way you can turn on your tank heaters use this coach a little bit longer you also got your slides right there as well but they do a split bath i'm a big fan of that because not only do you have the ability to shower but you're also while you're showering you're not clogging up the bathroom if you need 
and this shower is huge. So, I'm a round belly. Spatial awareness is a thing for me. I got to make sure that I can sit back, shower, and actually be able to clean myself without being stressed and bumping against the walls. And this definitely passes, you know, the old round belly check. You even got some room for your, like your soaps, you know, and shampoos. You also have a skylight too. So again, if you're a taller person, you get more head height and a little natural lighting. I don't know if I mentioned it because I'm a little crazy. Bada bing, bada boom. Heading into the bathroom, plenty of space with an old porcelain throne. Little countertop space, more access to your plumbing and storage there underneath. Another stainless steel bowl. And of course you got the mirror. Check out the old bowling gun, baby. Ah, I'm getting close. The old thumb is getting closer and closer every day. On the journey to 300, I really think that this is my year. No doubt about that. I'll tell you, everyone seems to be killing it. The boys over the weekend, one won 60 to nothing. The other one won 48 to three in football. So their heads aren't growing. But uh, each one of them had three touchdowns. Even the oldest, who's pretty new to football, he got in for some action on the JV team, 12 plays. Man, we were proud of him. Anyway, sorry, get off on a tangent here. So another thing that I really like, east to west bed, you got the king bed here, and you're going to see you do get the slide, which again creates a ton of room. I mean, look how much walk around room you have on this bed. You can also, of course, access it, you know, when the slides are closed. Both windows do open up again for a nice breathe breeze. Both sides have outlets and USBs for your devices and some overhead storage as well. And this overhead storage is deep. I got pretty average arms there for a six foot fella and it reaches all the way to the tippy tips of the old fingers. Emergency exit, pull, push and plop. You can get out in a hurry. And then when you sit down here on the bed, this is the view that you get. Plenty of dresser space. You're gonna have five of these. Access to the fuse box right there. So if something isn't working, make sure to check that out. And then on both sides, you get a ton of storage there as well too. So you get room for some hanging items over here. You got the old Jensen TV with some storage there, you know, behind it. And then boom, the combo unit, baby. Lengthen out those trips, have a good time, enjoy yourself and do some laundry on the road. You're also gonna see you get a little countertop space, two more outlets and the uh, 12 volt plug, which is always nice. I think it says it's the, uh, yeah, the 20 amps, so 12 volt power, that's great. Another window, hopefully for a nice view, or if you need to, drop a little plastic mat, put a chair, get some work done on the road, set your laptop up, you know, you're, uh, you're ready to roll, you're ready to roll. Uh, both sides also have a little cubby and a little countertop space, if you want to put up like a CPAP or something like that. Another AC, again with a dump valve, disproportionately push all that cool in, in here. If you got some gas, that would be nice. Just close that one and open up that and hog some of that air. All right. Again, if you guys have made it this far, hit that like and subscribe a Rooney button for me. This is the 2024 FR3 30DS coming in at under 32 feet. Hope you guys are digging the tour. Now, before we head outside, I want to show you one more thing. So right here, you got a safety key, okay? So I got it in the on position. You can turn it to off and completely move it but you can raise or lower this bed right here. And I'm gonna try to lift this up so we don't get the glare. Let's go ahead and lower this thing down. So this is gonna be that extra sleeping space, that above the cab sleeping, but it also doubles as a safe in a way. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. All right, so now you're in that down position, okay? You get plenty of sleeping space. I believe it has a 500 pound weight capacity, possibly three. I'll have to double check on that. But back here, you got these little areas. You know, you could put maybe like a gun or some valuables or something like that. You also get outlets there on the side uh, for whatever you need to plug in. But when you open this up and close it, then take the key out, nobody's getting in that. And if they do, it ta would take an extraordinary amount of effort. So I love having that extra feature. It's kind of like, uh, like a built in safe without having one. You know, you just pull that up, yank the key, you're good to go. I don't know, I think it's cool, and I think it's something worth pointing out, because, you know, I'm a little newer to the motorhomes, but these FR3s are the only thing I've seen with anything like that. All right, again, specifications. Length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. 
30DS FR3 sitting on that Ford V8 chassis, a 7.3 liter. Right here is going to be your side cameras. So you have a rear camera, side camera here, side camera there. Now, what's nice, let me shut that door. What's nice about that being where they are, that's that view you're gonna get. So the blind spots are gonna be taken out because they're not up in the mirror up here. So I love the position on that. I think it's really forward thinking and they can wire it in right here too. So I'm sure it saves them a little bit of money, but I'll tell you what, function. It's function over everything. And when you're driving, you either need to have that little cutout right there or the side camera mounted a little lower. It's something that I think is pretty darn neat. There's zone one and two controls here for your, uh, for your audio. This would be zone two, that outside, marine grade exterior speakers. They're gonna be the Jensen speakers, but that's gonna be your controls. You got your Bluetooth baby, hook up your phone. You are ready to rock. You also got an outdoor TV. Talk about a late night movie or some games. That's what you're rocking right there. And then again, this absolutely massive awning with the LED lights. You can also yank down at the side to dump them, but they're gonna be powered by Solera. So it'll again, it'll work off of something, you know, like the solar. Lithium battery. There's also gonna be a tank heater for winter um, or a battery warmer for winter, which is going to be that switch right there. Ow. You gotta be careful of those stairs. They come out and creep on you. Pass through storage. It's also gonna be kind of that wet storage with that plastic, you know, open it up and let it drain. Maybe throw some ice down and a couple brewskis, who knows? Outlets, USBs, 12 volt. Low point drain's gonna be in the here. I believe it's got the six pound gas and electric, but that should be down in the description. More pass through storage for more stuff. Some big old continental tires. Nice and sturdy here on that sidewall, that laminated slide. And this is gonna be your LP quick connect. So you can hook up a grill out here on the back, you know, and get cooking. But this is also pretty darn awesome. So they added in that tough flex. You can throw in, you know, maybe some tools or something like that. That'd be perfect in here. Really hard plastic, really scratchy. And then you also get the metal slam latch doors. I love seeing that. <laughs> ah, I should have slammed it a little harder. So you got a bunk underneath. You got your seven way pin with your hitch. It's also got, I believe, a 5,000 pound weight rating. I should say right there. Yeah, 5,000 pound. More storage. Right up there, that's going to be that rear camera that I was telling you about. Head around the back, you got your gas fill up. It's going to be right here on the corner, really nice and convenient placing. Also, you got magnetic latches too, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, so that way, you know, it's not those chintzy plastic clips, it's all magnet. This is going to be your Yamaha generator right here. So perfect to power up everything. You are ready to rock, you're ready to get powered up at the campground making life nice and easy. Sewer outlet connection and the waste holding tanks are gonna be right here along with an outside shower with hot and cold water access. Black tank flush and fills. Black tank flush is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank and then your valves that you pull to open up and let her loose. More storage. This gets gonna be the other storage there, that other pass through that I showed you. And then you got your propane. And then right here is gonna be that other side mirror camera for that for those blind spots. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. More than anything, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and it brought you a little bit of happiness. Again, my name is Hunter and this is the 2024 FR3 30DS. Have a great night. See ya. Shimmer, <laughs> <laughs>